Lo-Fi Palace are coming at you. Michael Pickering here with our next episode in our nine-part mini-series, Our World in Numbers. We're doing different top ten lists for economic and development variables and seeing what's shaking down in the world today. We've already done the top ten countries by GDP, GDP per capita, Gini, and HDI. And we've also already done the ten lowest countries with GDP and GDP per capita. Today, we're doing the ten countries with the lowest Gini index scores. And the Gini index, or also known as Gini coefficients, measures the amount of income inequality in a country. Simple as that. The measure goes from zero, being a completely equal income distribution, to 100, being a completely unequal income distribution. And for a little bit more of an in-depth look at Gini, give another listen to part three of our series, where we did the top 10 Gini countries. And as a refresher, our data come from the World Bank, and we are using data that include the years 2017 to 2019, for the same reason we talked about in part three, but we'll still talk about it a little bit later. But now to the list, let's go! And coming in at number 10, and tied for number 10 in 2019, Paraguay and Ecuador, with a 45.7. And coming in at and tied for number 8 in 2019, Honduras and Costa Rica with a 48.2. And coming in at number 6 is Panama in 2019 with a 49.8. And now to our bottom 5. Number 5, Zimbabwe with a 50.3 in 2019. And tied for number 4, Colombia in 2019 with a 51.3. And Angola in 2018 with a 51.3 as well. Now you can't have a tie in two different years, but we'll address that later. Number two is Brazil with a 53.4 in 2019. And number one, Sao Tome and Principe with a 56.3 in 2017. And now, as always, let's dig a little deeper. And first off, let me say there were actually five countries with lower Gini scores than Sao Tome and Principe. However, those scores were before our years of this list. And really, there were 15 countries that would have been on this list, other than the ones we see, if we'd changed the years we included for our list. Holes in the data. What can we say? But we'll talk more about that in a bit. Now, as far as other bias with Genie that we've already talked about in part three of the series, we're not going to repeat ourselves. Those stand true for this list as well. So here, we're going to focus on new issues that we find. And let's start by geographic bias, something we need to talk about for every one of our lists we do. So this list here has seven countries from Latin America and three countries from Africa. So, um, yeah, a bit geographically biased, to say the least. And how about ties? Coming from different years, particularly Colombia and Angola, both having a 51.3 but Colombia in 2019 and Angola in 2018. So really, this isn't even a tie. These are two different data points. But this happening is a complete ramification of the fact that Gini has so many holes in the data set that is just unavoidable in a list like ours that we did 2017 to 2019. But really, remember, it's not a true tie. They should methodologically be on two separate lists, just Every data point from each year, it should have its own list. It shouldn't be combined like this, really. But how about comparing this list, though, the 10 lowest genie countries, to the list of top 10 highest genie countries? What do we find? We find that there is absolutely no overlap, geographically speaking. Our top 10 countries, nine are from Europe or near European regions, and one from the Middle East. So both lists are geographically biased to only two regions in the world and have no overlap. Now, what can we take from that, question mark? Well, perhaps it means that not only is the distribution of global wealth unequal, as shown by GDP and GDP per capita, but this adds to that by saying that also income inequality within countries themselves is somewhat geographically biased in a very similar way as the bias we see in the distribution of global wealth. Meaning we're starting to have more evidence via more variables and more lists 
that there's a distinct difference in wealth and inequality depending on where you are in the world. And a bonus point to anyone who can write in and tell me why that is. And it is a one-word answer, and it may even be hyphenated, depending on how you spell it. But we're saving that conversation for part nine in our world of numbers. But next week, we look at the 10 countries with the lowest HDI scores. So we're somewhat getting out of the economic development indicators and broadening our scope. And with this last list, it'll be incredibly important to see just where the trends and bias lie as we head to the end of our series. But that's for next week. Now, we need to come back to that question we always ask at the end of any list we do. Does this list really even matter? Question mark. So let me say, last year we did a top 10 genie list, and our list was the exact same thing as this list here. There were no updates to the data. Now, granted, this year we're doing the list in a development series, so it has more context and it means more in that specific context. However, the fact that there has been no updated data on Genie, and there are so many holes in the data set, this is seriously methodologically concerning. I mean, so much so that I'm to the point where I'm considering dropping this as a variable, as a viable variable, to gauge economic inequality in countries. And that's kind of a big statement for me as a comparativist and as a political scientist. I think this list only matters if it's paired together with other lists and other economic development indicators, period. The data set as a whole is too weak to stand on its own. Simple as that. And to that end, people... What do you think is a good way to gauge economic inequality globally? Write in. I'm curious your thoughts. And that's this Tuesday's top 10 list. Check out lofipolysci.com, the music, the episodes, the blogs, the letters, the art. Add us on all the socials. People hit us up. And this isn't a catchphrase. It's a lifestyle. Always remember that Lofi Poly Sci is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Talk to you soon, Lofi listeners. Pickering, signing off. A little behind the scenes for all you listeners that stuck around. The first list we ever did was the top 10 happiest countries back in season 1 2020. We'll be doing an updated version of that list very soon.